Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a winter skincare and flawless face routine. This is very simple, easy to do, and will not require a high maintenance or, you know, two hours of your time, which I like because I feel like on YouTube we get very carried away with our flawless looks and you're like, I'm not wearing that anywhere. <laughs> um, so yes, this I feel is like beautiful and very easy to wear. So let's get started on the video and I'll show you how. Hi everybody, so welcome back to a full speaking tutorial. Today I finally have some time to set down, sit down with you guys and we'll do this. This is from start to finish. Now I recently did my hair, I mean so recent I did it this morning, and I basically wanted, I've always been a huge fan of um, Mary Kate Olsen's haircut um, ever since she did the movie A New York a Minute. I liked her hair. Um, this is actually very smoothed out. But when I kind of want to wear it more wavy and fluffy, you'll kind of see that sort of messy beach wave look, which is exactly what I wanted because I do live by the beach. So I wanted something that was easy to style. If I wanted to press it, it would look really nice. So here's the hairdo. Here's the haircut. I feel like this is the biggest difference I've had in my hair in a, like over a year. I was like, you keep not thinking about your hair, you keep doing the same thing all year, or not doing it at all, and that's just not like me. I also put a few very like punky red violet highlights right here at the very top, which you probably can't see with this terrible lighting. And then I did a lot of heavy highlighting in the front of my hair. This particular highlight job was for the most part a root touch up and a new haircut. So it probably cost me the same as a regular service. Um, even though I honestly really just thought of doing a refresher, but, um, my hair is feeling healthy and happy. So I think that's definitely worth the money. So I was literally only going to go in and get two highlights put on top to cover the roots for the holidays, but, uh, I'm glad I just bit the bullet and went ahead to this cause I, this is probably the most happy I've been with my hair this year since I decided to add this much blonde. I really wanted a lot more, I guess, red at first. I wanted that more punky look. And then I was like, you know what? I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get more into the Alabama spirits. I don't know if I want to go rockabilly because it really shuts me down into one style. So I want to flow with the trends, especially because I work at a boutique now. So I'm like, I want to flow, I want to flow. So, um, yeah, I don't buy that much retro stuff as, as I was buying, but that's okay. So today's video is going to be um, brow and winter routine. So I guess it is winter brows, winter skin routine, all that good stuff, all that good fluff that you have to put on your face during the winter months. And it's so cold outside, it's raining, you guys, and that's exactly why this lighting is probably the least greatest I've had in a very long time. I've been trying to get it as good as I can, which is not saying a lot because I know it's never been great. Um, but today, for brows, because I have such sparse brows, I have been using the Wink Natural Cosmetic Brow um, jelly stuff. This is supposed to make your brows grow in a little bit better. Now, I have been accidentally over plucking, which has always been a huge mistake I've made with brows. Um, accidentally over plucking them to say the very least. I was going to a brow art threader in California and there's just none of that down here. So I'm back, back to self brow maintenance. Um, honestly, going to see a specialist for brows is how my brows ended up so sparse in the first place. So I started doing self maintenance and then um, my eyebrows just won't grow back. I would feel worse about my brows, but this is really the way every makeup artist's brows look and everyone on YouTube, I think, because we want to fully transform ourselves. Having a really thin brow is not for everybody, but if you're, if you're an artist, you can make it work. It looks okay with a full face to have sort of a crazier art brow. And now I'm gonna take my, my beauty blender and my cover effects we do have to take a little bit of concealer just to kind of work as a base so that our eyebrows have something to adhere to. On bare skin, especially with that formulation, the Wink formulation I put below, they'll kind of smear. So especially in this, these winter months when it's raining, I really need them to pop. And although this concealer is not my perfect shade, it does block out some minor redness and it is full coverage. And I will put my highlighter, bronzer on, and you know, the correct shade of foundation and all that. So, like I said, these days you don't really have to have your perfect foundation or your perfect concealer match these days because of all the strobing and contouring and stuff we do to our faces these days. It's just insane. I 
I like that. It's not overdone. And I do like the brow gel thing, but you do have to be very um, conservative with it or it will get all over the place. Now I always do my brows before I do my skincare. And then I do my skincare. This Origins product is the Plant Scription Eye Serum. I got as a gratis gift when I left Origins. I did not pay for it. It's parent company's Estee Lauder. So with that said, I would have never paid for, for that product. I don't endorse it for that reason. I'm going to be taking my Avalon Organic COQ10 Organic Anti-Aging Plus Toner. And I do like it in this Lush bottle. I just like, I like the spritzer bottle. It's my favorite. Taking a little bit of serum. This is the Even Glow Vitamin C Serum. And I do think it's removed some of the minor discoloration on my face. Um, in the more minimal areas where it's more minimal. The Mirror Moisturizing Emulsion Lotion. I do usually like oils for the face, but I need something to set on top of my skin. Now I did get away from the lotions a little bit. Um, during the summertime because the oils would just kind of evaporate and sit beautifully on my skin um, But it doesn't really feel dry outside this winter. It feels like kind of humid kind of rainy So I just want to be safe with it and make sure my skin has the proper like nutrients and Jane face like this and this is what I call plain Jane. It's not really it's like a face routine, but you would wear on an easy day day off or basically all your basics minus elaborate eyeshadow I still do like to block out some of the um, redness on the skin because I like to make it all sort of an even glow canvas. And honestly, I get the most compliments on my makeup when I have just concealer or foundation on my eyelids and everyone's like, oh, what color eyeshadow are you wearing? I want just that. I'm like, oh no, it's foundation. Like, oh no, I wanted an eyeshadow. I want to know what eyeshadow you're wearing. It is foundation concealer on my eyelids and it's since it's perfect for my skin, it's perfect for here. And you can find a concealer toned eyeshadow for sure, or a skin tone powder, face powder, and use that as eyeshadow. You don't need to actually find just an actual eyeshadow if you don't want to. So they are available out there, skin tone eyeshadows, but they typically are a little sandy toned or shimmery. So multi-use your products and you can use face powder as eyeshadow. I'm taking the Born This Way Liquid Foundation in Vanilla. This is my favorite this year. It never fails me. It's super glowy and kind of out of my budget, but I still love it. And I'm going to pack this on as full coverage, which sometimes if I have absolutely like no eye makeup on, which I'm kind of going to be doing today, I like to put more care and consideration into my skin since I feel people are definitely viewing my face. Sometimes when my eyes are super heavy, I'll wear lighter foundation just cause I want there to, I don't wanna be just like heavy here and cakey all over my face. But this is all about flawless winter skin. And I usually let my facial products, like my skincare I just showed you dry out a little bit more or sink in a little bit more before I put on this foundation. But if you do it the way I'm doing it, you'll get kind of a fuller coverage cause everything hasn't absorbed just yet, but it will. Concealer. Cover effects concealer. So I'm almost done with this nude wear palette in light and I like this as a skin finish so I'm kind of backtracking and thinking I don't want to get the medium after all. Maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I really like this as a skin finish because I don't really have to worry about getting a setting powder if I have this, and if I get the medium, then it will be too dark. So I like that I can strobe the face, sort of mineralized skin finish the face, if you will. And I still kind of call this a mineralized skin finish, even though that's a MAC product, because this is what this product does for me. It's the Touch of Glow palette, and I feel like it works to make the skin look like an oil painting of sorts. Um, because when you do like a charcoal or an oil painting, you're focusing on lights and darks, and you're really working to get um, um, nuance, to get um, dimension, and I feel like too much when we're doing painting of the face, 
we're really focusing on harsher lines, getting creases just right, uh, getting brow highlights just right, without even taking into consideration that our faces are in fact dimensional and not a charcoal painting or a piece of paper. So with charcoal paintings, you want to make it kind of pump up from the canvas. Our faces are already pumped up, so why flatten it? Why re completely recede it? Why not just enhance our natural beauty? So I do like to do shading and lighting um, with this. That is, of course, what contouring was designed to do. It's supposed to sort of reflect and deflect the eye and create new shapes. Um, but for women especially, I don't like to do too much reshaping of the face because then it does look masculine. Embrace who you are and then kind of work with it and create that beautiful, like, flawless face skin canvas. I'd rather somebody think my nose is not right and me just kind of have fun and play with my makeup and just think, wow, her skin is gorgeous. I'd rather have gorgeous skin than a perfect nose, but that's just me. And I don't mind if people can tell it's like my makeup abilities or whatever, as long as it all kind of blends in. But I guess that's because I'm an artist. I, <laughs> I know people know this is not natural, so I just don't get too carried away over, over deflecting them from what is, what is me and what isn't. So I'm going to be taking the highlighter here, and now you can see I'm taking like an extra like layer of, of nuance. And this is the more cosmetic highlighter, but since we already kind of laid down the, the actual skin finish, we're not going to have to work as hard on blending because the brighter and darker contouring and highlights are just going to blend into this. One thing I like about the Too Faced Born This Way foundation is that it's coconut water based and not coconut cream. So it really just absorbs into the skin at a much faster rate. I haven't gotten any melia or pimples from it, so I think I'm in the right climate from it since I'm in the Florida climate. And yes, I did my, I cut my bangs. I love bangs, but they don't really work in this humidity. So I try to keep them side swept and not kind of over chop them. And I love this routine too for the summertime. Um, but I'll see if the Born This Way foundation is still working for me this summer. I really hope so. I think the humidity and the dry heat will work. One of the things I really wanted to do this winter was go to Worship on the Water. Um, it's a huge thing here at the Florabama, and there is a song by Kenny Chesney called Florabama, but I don't, I'm not really religious, I just wanted to see a Christmas presentation and get to the spirit and feel in the loving and giving spirit. So, um, that being said, I think Christmas is almost a time to to, to be better, religious or not. I think that's something we should all strive for. If, if, if not being super religious is your religion, then um, at least I feel it's worth it to strive to be the best version of that you can be. And, you know, regardless of all other things. And then I'm gonna be taking the Physician's Formula Argon Rare Blush in Shade Natural, and this looks like the, the MAC Marine High Life Powder. And I, I do like MAC products, I don't think they're the best, but I like the idea of them, what they're supposed to do for the skin and stuff, so. I know some of my roots were duping MAC and stuff like that, that's kind of how I started off in the beauty free, beauty, you know, cruelty free community was duping all MAC products. But I feel like, um, I, don't, I wouldn't even buy MAC to this day, even if I weren't cruelty free, it's just not my favorite product anymore at all. Like I feel it's much more drying and hard and doesn't age as well as something like, let's say, NARS or Urban Decay does. So I just don't think they're nice products really anymore. But I, like I said, the idea behind them, I like it. So that's kind of what we're trying to achieve with the skin nuance. I'm going to be taking the Physician's Formula BB Cream Mascara. And this is like kind of a messy mascara. You have to be careful with it so you don't kind of get it into your eyes. But it really is beautiful on the lashes. And the Winx is actually helping my lashes more than my eyebrows. But um, as a lash addict, oh yes. Can we just say oh yes for a minute? Oh yeah. At least I know it's working. So there you have it. It works. And if you have eyebrows that grow in faster than mine would probably work for yours 
my eyebrows are just like we had a good life this is very buildable it's pretty buildable just don't just don't get too carried away because it will become clumpy like on its last leg of getting built just take your take a breath between each group of lashes so they don't all just clump together right before they clump together they get as long as can be oh yes That's it for today. I think that's gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Winter skincare and flawless face routine. This is definitely a beautiful go-to face that's not overdone that you can throw on. And I feel look very elegant. And I think this would even look nice with a fancy dress. If you're somebody who doesn't feel comfortable or feel it looks right on you to be in a full face of makeup, here it is. So I don't think I'd wear this at the beach because there's just too much highlighter on it. Um, and you don't want that to flecked and burn your skin. But to be around the beach, absolutely yes. So thank you so much for watching today's video, you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying the commentary videos or if you prefer the talk-through routines. I actually do prefer to do the talk-through routines and I prefer to edit them. But sometimes um, with time being uh, of, of a factor and... A lot of stuff going on around me. I feel I'd rather get a video out for you guys with the microphone than have nothing for you at all. And I'm not somebody who likes to be sloppy with videos, but it, it can be hard to even put one up once a month anymore, let alone, um, let alone not giving you anything. So um, I try. I'll see you guys later. Bye.